Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in this tutorial we're going to create a simple project in order to explore what the JDBC capabilities i have intellij id with me so create the new project so i'm going to select the project type as what you know the maven project give a next so that is actually asking me the couple of information group id and artifact id give a group id as what you know com dot dinesh krish i'm going to give the artifact id as jdbc hyphen demo so i'm going to leave the version as it is give a next so give a finish so now you can see what you know the new maven project actually created successfully called jdbc demo so now i told you already that you know we going to explore the jdbc feature so what exactly the jdbc and then we going to learn what you know all the apis belongs to jdbc in order to do that we need some database right obviously the jdbc all the operation we going to perform on top of the database as part of this tutorial i'm going to use what you know the mysql database so i'm currently using what you know mysql 5.5 version so the username and password actually what you know root root Okay, so my buff, my MySQL already installed in my machine. I'm gonna use the same MySQL throughout this tutorial. You can find a lot of materials about it in order to perform what you know installation of the MySQL database. So now what I'm gonna do in a MySQL client, I'm gonna create the database. So I'm gonna create the database called create database. I'm naming the database actually what you know JDBC underscore tutorial. Okay. And now you can see what you know the new database actually what you know created successfully okay leave it as it is so now i already told you that in order to access the database obviously we have to download the dear download their jdbc driver and we have to add the dependency to our java application right so to do that what i'm going to do i'm going to download the dependency from the maven repository simply type what you know mysql when you type a mysql that will show you the different option here you can find one option called mysql connector slash j just go to that link you can find what you know the different versions are available for the mysql driver so if you look at it carefully we are using 5.5 you can download any mysql database or you can download any other database but approach is similar okay i'm using what you know mysql 5.5 database in my machine why right? so obviously i need a five driver and that means what you know whatever latest driver from the five series right so if you look at it so the latest release of the five actually what you know 5.1.47 that was the latest release for five release click on it okay now you have to select what you know the driver appropriately for your version okay now i'm going to copy this dependency go to what you know the intellij i'm going to add what you know the dependency now you can see that the dependency actually what you know added successfully right so now we have what you know mysql database available so there is a database created called you know jdbc underscore tutorial right we have created the maven project we loaded what you know uh the dependency to our project now it's time to check whether our application can able to get a connection in order to perform the transaction or not with the database that we have right so to do that what i'm going to do i'm going to create what you know the new class i'm going to call this class before creating the class you know let me create the package i'm going to create the package called com.dineshkrish okay inside this package i'm going to create a new class i'm going to call this class actually what you know connection provider I just simply created class called what you know connection provider under what you know the com dot dinesh krish package. Inside this connection provider, I'm going to introduce one static method called get connection. So I'm going to call method called what you know get connection. Why? Right? So I want this method to return me what you know the connection object. So that actually should come from what you know the Java to SQL package. Okay. I want this method to be static method, so I don't need to create an instance in order to call this method. Okay, so now connection. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually what you know, create a connection. 
by using what you know the singleton design part and because what you know throughout my application i want to use what you know single connection because we got a, we need a single connection to perform multiple transaction right so obviously i don't want a connection to be created for each and every transaction so create one connection and use the same connection across the application to do that obviously we have to follow what you know singleton approach so what i'm going to do private connection connection so let me create the reference variable so obviously i'm going to use this variable a uh, reference variable inside what you know this particular static method so obviously it also should be what you know static resource right it's very straightforward i'm going to return the connection that we have now here what i'm going to do here the place i'm going to what you know perform the connection perform a connection thing right so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to what you know introduce few variable so private static string so it's going to be what you know the final constant so i'm going to say what you know connection underscore you are okay then private static final string user obviously the database username then private static final string so what else password okay the username actually what you know username of my database is a root password of my database is a root and then connection string for my database is actually what you know what is my database name is a jdbc underscore tutorial right that's my database okay so let me check that so obviously the jdbc underscore tutorial right that my database actually running in my local machine obviously the local the server name is like server url is a local host and the it's running under the port number called 3306 that is the default port for the mysql when you install it okay so now this is actually running local host colon double three zero six slash then slash so before that i'm going to do what you know jdbc colon mysql colon that's it then slash so what is the meaning of this connection url jdbc mysql is my database under this host name under this portal this particular database is actually what you know running right so now we got you know we captured all the necessary information now we have to what you know establish the connection so i have to do that so to do that what i'm going to do i'm actually going to do everything inside what you know the try block catch block so in order to avoid any exception right so i'm going to say system dot out dot println e dot get message okay so here what i'm going to do here first step what you have to do you have to tilt your java api you're going to use what you know the mysql database so in order to say the mysql database you have to load what you know the appropriate driver to do the load the driver what you have to do class dot far name okay here you have to load what you know the appropriate driver name so what is the driver name here right so you can have a driver name so go to the what you know external a uh, library go to the maven here you can see what you know the mysql connector uh, jar file is loaded right so the driver name should be com dot mysql dot you can actually visit here com dot mysql dot jdbc dot obviously jdbc dot then you should have something called what you know driver so obviously you have what you know driver class so or else you know you can go here you can actually copy the reference if you are using what you know the IntelliJ simply actually what you know instead of this one you can paste that reference it's going to be what in a similar com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver so now i would say what you know system dot dot println i'm going to say what you know the driver are loaded okay now once the drivers are loaded we have to get the connection right so connection so here what i'm going to do if the connection is equal to equal to null then what i'm going to do i'm going to create the connection so what I'm going to say connection equal to driver manager dot 
get connection. So driver manager is the class from Java data SQL package. There you have what you know the connection get connection method, which takes what you know three argument. One is the connection URL itself, connection URL, comma, the username, comma, then password. So now it will give you what you know connection. So once you got the connection, I'm gonna simply uh, gonna say what you know connected. Okay. So later we will we can actually what you know delete this. So once everything working fine, so I'm going to create what, you know, one main class so in order to, you know, I mean, realize whether we are, we are able to get a connection or not. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the class called what in a main class. So here, obviously I'm going to have a main method, public static wide main. So here I'm going to call what, you know, the connection provider class. So inside the connection provider, I have to call what, you know, the get connection method, right? Connection provider connection provider dot get connection so connection provider is a class get connection actually what in the static method so that actually returns what in a connection the same connection can be used across the application so I'm going to simply print what in the connection object let me save this I'm going to simply what you know run this class so what is the expected output we should get what you know the connection reference before that we should get what if the drivers load actually what you know properly we should get this message if the connection actually established successfully we should get this message then finally we should get what you know uh, the reference of the connection object so that's expectation let's see whether it's working fine or not let me simply run this application we'll see what is going to happen here we go now we got actually what you know the expected output the driver is loaded the database actually connected now we got actually what you know the database connection reference object by using this we can perform what you know the transaction that we want okay since let, let, let us quickly check one thing we actually created this connection provider class actually what in a singleton right so now let's actually quickly understand what happened if I call what you know this same line multiple time okay now let me actually what you know copy this line I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to call this actually what you know two times maybe three times okay I'm going to say connection one and the connection two so what is should what should be the expected output so each and every connection each whenever we call what you know this get connection method multiple time it should not create what you know different different instance be instead of that the same instance should be used what you know across the application so that's an idea right let's check whether that is actually behaving as expected or not okay let me simply run this application we'll see what is going to happen here we go now you can see what you know so we are getting the same reference whenever we are calling what you know the multiple times so i think the singleton actually working perfectly thanks for watching